Hello, my friends. Welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm here today in beautiful Edson Chapel, and I want to talk to you about a story that comes out of our Bible book from the book of Genesis. It's in chapter 17, and God is making big promises. We've already talked about the story of Noah and the ark and the sign of the rainbow. So here we have some symbols. We have light, we have the cross, and we have this baptismal bowl. And here in Edson Chapel is where we do baptisms. And we've talked about this once before, but today it's not really so much about baptisms as it is thinking about God knows each one of us by name. And because God knows each one of us by name, God makes promises. And we can count on those promises. Now the promises don't always, they happen according to God's time and according to how God knows when we're ready to get to learn those things that God wants us to know. So what I want you to remember and take away from this lesson today, though, my friends, is that it is important for us to call each other by name. Names are important. God knows our names because God loves us. And when we call people, each other, by our names, we're spreading that understanding of God's love. So God, today in our story, God makes a big promise to Abram and Sarai, his wife, that they will become parents. <laughs> well, they're very old and they're thinking, how can we be parents? We've wanted this for so long, but God invites Abram to take a walk with him. And he says, Abram, come and walk with me. Well, Abram is just so, he's so emotional. He's so honored and he can't believe that he has this time with God and he just kind of falls down to the ground as he's talking, talking to God. And God says, I make this promise to you, Abram, that you will be the father of many and that your offspring will populate the world. We'll have many nations starting with you and your wife. And so Abram, he believes this promise. And because I'm making this promise to you, God says, Abram, you will no longer be called by the name Abram, but you will become Abraham. And your wife, Sarai, will, never, will not be called Sarai, but she will become Sarah. And that this is the promise, that you two together will be blessed with a child, and that, and that represented by the baptismal font, new life, and that child shall be called Isaac. Remember, we are calling each other by name. Calling each other by name says, Sarah, I love you. Abraham, I love you. Isaac, I love you. I see you. And that's what God's promise is all about. Knowing our names and saying, I see you. I see you. What a wonderful message. What a wonderful thought to be surrounded by the light of God's love, to be able to see the cross, the promise of God's salvation, and to be cleansed by the water of baptism. So my friends, go now in peace, remembering and knowing God knows your name, and so 
shall you know uh, the names of others. Amen. <laughs>